Before using the DAX Stats Basketball software for the first time, Dactronic suggests a few simple steps to help make in-game use easy and efficient. Be familiar with the program. It is highly recommended that users take time to familiarize themselves with the program before game time. Some helpful hints include practice taking stats while watching game film, identify the location of buttons associated with the most common plays, print out a play-by-play -play report from a demo game, and then re-enter it to learn what buttons and steps were used to follow the play-by-play -play action. It is also important to have a good spotter. The spotter is the person who watches the games and tells the operator the plays as they happen so the DAC stats operator can concentrate on entering stats rather than looking back and forth between the game and computer screen. Having a spotter who pays close attention to the game and has a good understanding of the game will help the user mo more quickly enter data into the DAC stats basketball program. It is also helpful to have pens and paper handy in case the operator falls behind entering stats or if there are any technical difficulties. You are now ready to begin using DAX Stats Basketball. Go to File, Open Game. In the Open Game window, select the correct season and game and click OK. If a certain game does not appear in the list, return to the Configure Game screen to make sure the game was created in the correct season. Two-click mode is a simplified entry mode where users first select a stat and then select the player who performed the action. Two-click is the recommended mode of operation as it allows the user to enter the action as it happens, adding any stat to any player at any time. To enter the starters for a team, right-click their jersey numbers directly below the appropriate side of the basketball court. After selecting five numbers, they will appear as larger buttons to the side of the court. To make substitutions, right-click the player or players coming in, and then right-click the player or players going out. To make a mass substitution, left-click the mass button, and then right-click the five players that are on the court. To minimize the number of clicks needed to record a play, two-click mode selects certain stat buttons for users to enter more information. Entering assists, offensive or defensive rebounds, and turnovers after steals are completely optional. Users may simply ignore the highlighted buttons and enter another shot or select a different stat to continue, although stats may not balance if some of these plays are ignored. Every shot is entered using the basketball court. To enter missed shots, left-click on the court at the approximate location the shot was taken. Click the number of the player who took the shot, then click the player or team that made the rebound. If the play resulted in a dead ball, click Team Dead Ball next to either the offensive or defensive team. A missed two-point shot is denoted on the court with a blank white basketball. A missed three-point shot is denoted on the court with a white basketball with a three in the middle. To enter made shots, right-click on the court at the approximate location the shot was taken. Click the number of the player who took the shot. If there was an assist, click the player who made the assist. A made two-point shot is denoted on the court with a blank orange basketball. A made three-point shot is denoted on the court with an orange basketball with a three in the middle. Three-point shots are automatically detected when the shot is placed beyond the three-point arc. To enter a block, click the block button that appears when left-clicking to enter a missed shot. The software will prompt you for the player that took the shot, followed by the player that rebounded the ball, followed by the player that blocked the shot. To change the order of the software prompts for a blocked shot, Click Game Control, pl Prompt, Block, Last. To enter a turnover, click Turnover. Then click the number of the player who made the turnover. The software will prompt for a steal, but it is not necessary to enter a steal if one did not occur. To enter a steal, click Steal. Click the number of the player who made the steal. Then click the number of the player who made the turnover on the opposing team. 
To enter fouls, click either Foul Defensive or Foul Offensive. To enter a more specific foul, click on the appropriate foul type in the list. Click the number of the player or team who committed the foul. To enter free throws, click Free Throw. Click the player who will shoot the free throw. Select the free throw type and then select what occurred for each shot. Click Done when finished. Two-click mode contains an interactive on-screen scoreboard that can be used to view and record current game action. To change the game time, click the clock, type in the new value, and press enter. The colon and any extra zeros will appear automatically. Click start clock to begin counting down the time and click stop clock to stop again. Pressing the space bar will quickly toggle the clock on and off. If an all sport game console is connected to the DAX stats machine, the clock feed will automatically show up in the clock section and will start and stop when the all sport operator starts and stops the clock. To take timeouts, click the number next to full or partial. In the message box that appears, click yes to confirm taking the timeout. To configure the default number of timeouts available, click configure rules configuration from the main DAX stat screen. The play-by-play -play script contains a list of every action performed by each player or team. This running script shows the period, the clock time, the team, the player who performed the action, the action itself, and the result of the action. Most items in the play-by-play -play script can be edited by double-clicking them and then selecting or typing in the new choice or value. To delete a play, Right click it and then click delete. To insert a new play, right click the play immediately following where the play should take place, then click insert. Double click each column of the please edit play row to fill in the play details. To make a play occur earlier or later in the game, right click it and then click move up or move down. Always re rebuild the stats after modifying the play-by-play -play script. Both of the edit menu actions are also available as buttons on the main application screen. Users are able to rebuild stats by going to edit, rebuild stats, or clicking on the icon at the top of the application screen. To delete last play, Go to Edit, Delete Last Play, or click the icon at the top of the application screen to quickly delete the last play from the play-by-play -play script. Several of the game control menu actions are also available as buttons on the main application screen. To start the next period, go to Game Control, Start Next Period. Click Yes to begin the new period. Starters will automatically clear out at the beginning of a new period, so the operator must enter the starters for each period. At the end of the game, go to Game Control, Game Finished. Click Yes if the game is over. Once the operator selects Game Finish, no other entry can be made to the game. To undo ending the game, delete the last play. Go to Game Control Balance or click the icon at the top of the application screen to have DAX Stats Basketball ensure statistics are properly balanced. A green check mark indicates stats are correctly balanced, while a red X indicates a statistical disagreement. To switch the sides of the court that the teams are playing, go to Game Control Swap Teams or click the icon at the top of the application screen. DAX Stats Basketball allows users to view and print a wide variety of reports to help assess player and team statistics. The reports are produced as HTML files for easy transfer and email. 
Users are able to generate game reports when a game is finished or while it is still open. Once these reports are created, they will open as an HTML file and can then be printed during instances such as quarter breaks, halftime, timeouts, or at the end of the game. To print in-game reports, leave the current game open, but return to the main DAXDATS window. In the Reports box, highlight one or more of the desired report types. Click Print, and the report will open in the default Internet browser. Typically, going to File Print within the Internet browser will create a hard copy printout of the report. Users are also able to print cumulative season statistic reports. To print season reports, go to File Print Season. The printouts window will appear. On the Competitions tab, select the Team Reports sub-tab button. Select the season, the team, and the type of game. Next, select the Team Reports tab. Select the desired reports and click Go. A list of reports will appear in the default internet browser. Click a link and a stat printout will appear. Typically going to File Print within the internet browser will create a hard copy printout of the report. DAXDATS Basketball can also generate player career reports and game-by-game -game lineup analysis reports. Lineup analysis reports give users an in-depth look into the way groups of five players have performed throughout the season in various game situations. For more information on how to generate these reports, reference the DAXDATS basketball manual located under the Help menu on the main DAXDATS window.